where I think that Māori people are very fortunate and in, in that we are here in Aotearoa is that uh, we have te tiriti. Most other indigenous cultures around the world look at us like, wow, you guys have a treaty. Mm. And they kind of look at us like, wow, this is great. But what the masses don't understand is that that treaty was never made to actually benefit us, mm -hmm. you know, and we've been fighting for 250 years for these little minuscule rights and things. And although we might be advanced in some ways com in comparison to other cultures and stuff, we are not the be all and the end all. We're not the trophy case. We're not the, you know, the fucking ranking of the rankings. Like we're not it. We're still working through this, but that's, what's beautiful about our nation is that we're all kind of majority of us are working together and we are on the, Journey, the journey on the hiding it together, you know, and it's definitely in a, in a better trajectory. You know, you go back 50 years, oh. you go back 50 years, you go back 50 years, it's all getting better, like just in I, every way. I'm education, also, homes. I'm also from, um, I've got American Indian blood in me, and so I go back to uh Halifax, and so that's where like they first um greeted the pilgrims. So Thanksgiving and those sorts of things, that's also my heritage. And you look at the comparisons of the Native American Indians in comparison to the Māori, and it's like we probably are more advanced and better off than them, but it's not the same. So no. it's, it's definitely not the same kettle of fish, you know? Well, we're a very young country compared to a lot of those other countries who have been colonised over Absolutely. millennia. Yeah. Where's, millennia, you, where, where's yeah. your family, Hal, from? Where do you identify um, sort of cultural connections, Alvesa? Uh, my mum's from the Philippines and all her family are still over there, so I've never met any of my mum's family. Um, never been to the Philippines. I was meant to go over COVID, but... Um, COVID happened, <laughs> and so I ended up spending that money travelling New Zealand and seeing more of this country. Um, so unfortunately, I haven't been to the Philippines and met my mum's family, but through learning more about um, uh, Māori culture, it's inspired me to learn what is my whakapapa. I've already talked about this on the on the show before, mm -hmm. but it, I think it's been really great for me to... And my son is um, Dutch, Māori, Filipino, Irish. <laughs> but because mm -hmm. we're on... On, in Aotearoa, New Zealand, I would like him to learn uh, to have a really strong connection with his whenua and, um, yeah, pass down the knowledge from my husband's side of the uh, whānau so that he understands where they're all from, you know. 